Hello, hello, hello. My name is Warov. Welcome back to my Morrowind Let's Play. Last time we got a little further in Kogarun. Got some very nice armor right over here. Who's the <laughs> Yeah, these are, uh... They both use the right hand mesh, but... That's the good stuff there. The best, some of the best armor in the game. Anyways, let's return if I can remember what my hotkeys are set to. Sorry, just gotta get a cord out of the way. Bleeding heart. Oh yeah, I already found the shadow shield. That's what I needed. of a completionist, so I would like to. Eh, not worth it. Back. First Shilaku camp. I gotta go talk to the Ashkan of the Urshilaku tribe. At least as I remember. Oh, oh boy. Sorry about that that. It's just a small graphical glitch. Go ahead. I am listening. Let's make sure shadow shield, cup, and ash salts. Where's the corpus weepings? Okay. If you have brought me the three tokens of the warrior's test, I can speak to you further of the third trial. I am impressed. These three tokens you have brought me. You may keep them. You have passed the warrior's test, and I will give you the secret of the third trial. In caverns dark, Azura's eyes sees, and makes to shine the moon and star. This is the third vision, and you must go to the cavern of the incarnate, a place sacred to Azura and look for the moon and star. Secret of the Cavern of the Incarnate is set in a riddle. The eye of the needle lies in the teeth of the wind. The mouth of the cave lies in the skin of the pearl. The dream is the door and the star is the key. This riddle is wisdom's test. Take counsel of the wisdom of the tribes and you shall find the way. Seek the Cavern of the Incarnate Gain the moon and star, and bring it to Nibani Maesa. Take with you my blessing, the blessing of our tribe. Malupu Ataman's belt. Malupu Ataman's belt has been added to your inventory. Cool. Third trial. Seek the third trial in the cavern of the Karma. Nice. But it's cast... But it's a cast when used, instead of a constant effect. Let's see here, this one is Nib Nibani? No. This one is Nibani. Wise Woman's Yurt. Hearth Friend, Warov. From now on, you can teach disciplines to the lower ranking members of the Ashlanders and be paid for it. You may also reward them for their efforts for the Ashlanders. Okay. Alright, the star is the key. Ah, the star is Azura. Azura's stars appear in the sky only in the magical hour between day and night. 
At dawn and twilight, their trial. Told you the shrine to Azura called the Cavern of the Incarnate. I cannot tell you how to find this place, but he has said you may seek the wisdom of the tribes, and the wisdom of the wise women I may share with you. Perhaps what I know can help you with these lines of the riddle. The star is the key, and the dream is the door. You say the star is the key, Azura star? Then the door is only seen at dawn and dusk, and the star is the key that opens it. Okay. Let's see here. Have I visited it? Okay, so I need to find Azura Shrine then. Wait, where's Azura Shrine? You do not know about it. J. Bookmark. This is where the... I always thought the Urshulaku camp was way over there. Cast? Well, that one will. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, whoops. I see here. This one honors us. Please, speak. How delightful. Welcome. I am honestly not sure where to go next. Go talk to Caius. speak to you. That's what I thought. Caius is gone. Well, 
Well, I suppose I need to go speak with an with another tribe member. Or with other tribes. Skin of the Pearl. You bear Malipu Ataman's belt. This is important. Just a moment. You mentioned the needle in the Valley of the Wind? I recall at the top of that tall spire it is not white, but much lighter than other rocks nearby. The head of the Valley of the Wind sits right under the needle. It is a good, safe campground sheltered from wind with only one approach. That whitish rock at the top of the needle. That might be the pearl you're looking for. Bear Sulam Malipu Ataman's belt. I will share with you what I know. I know no, of no place by that name, but there is a place called Aryan's Teeth in the Valley of the Wind. These two rock spires mark the entrance to the Valley of the Wind, and they bear the name of the seer, Ariman, one blessed by Azura. Side by side on the northeast slopes of Red Mountain, the westernmost valley is called Dry Camp Valley. The camps have no water, but they are sheltered from the wind. Unahe Caverns are also there. The Valley of the Wind is the eastmost valley. It runs, a, it runs long and straight south between Ariane's Teeth and climbs toward Red Mountain. The mouths of these valleys are to the last along the coast. Past Buthaud, a Dwemer ruin, and just past Zergonopal, a Daedric ruin, turn south. Eye of the Needle. This token of our tribe, Malipu Ataman's belt, is proof of Sumatul's blessing. Let me think. Perhaps you mean the needle? It is a tall rock column in the Valley of the Wind. I have slept beneath it once or twice. The Valley of the Wind is a valley in the northeast slopes of Arian's teeth, two tall rock spires. So. East of Dwemer Butha. East of Daedric, Daedric Zirkonipal. Stay away from the valley. The winds howl, and the spirits are always awake. Ereleth ancestral tomb is in this valley. It is foolish to deserve the spirits in their resting place. Please join me. So good to see you. Huh. So good to see you. They're gonna pal. Corderoon, boss. I suppose there's nothing for it. East of Zergonopal. It's this way. Ah, I wonder if that's it right there. I guess I'll just teleport to the Sage with Mora Wolverine Hall. Excuse me. Uh, I need to go up if I remember correct. This should be. Okay, not quite what I was looking for. Down then. Speak freely, friend. Oh, 
wonder what, I wonder what the quest guide says. Hold on. Let's solve a riddle. The eye of the needle lies in the teeth of the wind. I thought it was referring to Azura's star, as in the soul gem. Wow. Loud! Okay, well. sleep. Still better, better than a blight storm, I guess.
Might as well try to follow the path and fill in a little bit more of the map, eh? Ghost fence. You can actually run into golden wild golden saints out here where the where the realm or the barrier between Mundus and uh, and oblivion is uh sorry is still thin. It's only five. I wonder if that's Bathon. second. Oh my. Fire damage. Slightly tired. Yikes. Okay. Um. Where are you? Jab That's Bethond. <laughs> okay, I am running. It's all good. Hey, that's a Nick sound, right?
Interesting. It wouldn't let me quick loot him. Because if this is Bethond, right? That's where I need to go. Then I'm also sort of heading in the right direction to the Valley of the Wind. Newell Schleft. Newell Left. Newell Left. Newell Left. Maybe. Lighted. Couldn't move. Oh, Kagoti. I thought it was a uh, elite. Key for we're going to next spell, next weapon, next spell. Okay. Uh, those plus minus. Okay. That's an easy way to deal with it. Right. For some reason. So for some reason, I thought that this way was was east. East is this way. So yeah, it's right in there. If I head straight for Kogaroon, it's all good. If I head straight for uh, Zergoni Papal or something, whatever, I, well, the Daedric Ruin, that'll get me pretty close to where I need to go. Do I have a slow fall? I do not have a slow fall. Oh well. Ah, oh, here it is. Ouch. Hey, come on. 
Let me out. Thank you. Why did I put this spell? That is whole quick team nine. This has got to be the two towers, or the two pillars. Every time I say or think that, I start thinking of a song from the, from a very old version of the Return of the King cartoon. Oh yeah, I air or levitated into this, into this place on my way through before, right? This is supposed to be the ancestral tomb, right? Yep. Starleth. That's the one I wanted. That's the one I wanted. Somehow, managed to cast water breathing. It shouldn't be very much farther. Drive around the corner here. immune to disease. Yeah, it's been a while, okay? Twilight are at between 8 and 8. Oh, wait, there's the door. Don't disappear on me. Don't disappear on me. Cavern. The door is locked and will not open. The star is the key. Okay, so Twilight is between...
8 and 8. So if I get there at about 7, that would be 6. with the hound meat, isn't it? Being an alchemist, Warav. Nerevar reborn, incarnate. Your first three trials are finished. Now, two new trials lie before you. Seek the Ashlander, Ashkans, and the Great House Counselors. Four tribes must name you Nerevarin. Three houses must name you Hortator. My servant, Nabani Meza, shall be your guide. And when you are Hortator and Nerevarine, when you have stood before the false gods and freed the heart from its prison, heal my people and restore Morrowind. Do this for me and with my blessing. Okay then. Peak Star. Welcome, Incarnate, Moon and Star, Reborn, Hortator, Nereverine, Mourner of the Tribe Unmourned, he Redeemer of the False Gods. I am Peak Star. I was not the one, but I wait and hope. Ask and I shall answer if wisdom guides me. Oh, that seems like it's something to do for another episode. Oh boy. Uh, that implies that these people are all the ones who might have been Nerevarine, but who weren't quite Nerevarine. Okay. Well, I think that wraps it up for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please leave a like. If you really enjoyed it, please subscribe. Either really helps in getting these videos out there. Oh, and don't forget the notification bell. Links are on the end screen or in the description below. Have a blessed day, and see you guys next time.